This video is brought to you by Longoni Cues. How about that shot to win your match? And the beautiful thing is, I can teach you this in under five minutes. Let's go. Here we go, pool fans. If we wanna get this down quick, there's three key components to this shot. Keep watching this entire video because all three of them are equally important. The first one is the angle of your jump stick. Because we're so close to the object ball, it's almost impossible to jump this way. Therefore, we're gonna use this dart jump technique and we have to bring the cue in front of our eye under my chin like this i'm also moving my hand much more forward so i can even see my fingers when i'm looking down and i need an extreme amount of elevation if i reduce that i'm not gonna get the job done the cue ball is just gonna go straight into this optic ball i really have to elevate i also use this type of bridge i use my index finger is going on my middle finger and then I can get more elevation because the middle finger is a longer finger. So with that extreme elevation, we now have a chance to get over this object ball. What I'm also doing, I'm slightly twisting my body. I'm leaning more on my left foot as a right-handed player. Remember the jacked up video, I'll put a link here in the top where I go into this in more detail. We kind of slightly twist our body so I can see the ball more clearly because of all this elevation. And then I'm leaning on my left foot. That gives me more room to maneuver. And with all that elevation, I have a good chance now to get over that ball. But crucial point number two is coming up. And that is we need speed. We don't want to hit the ball hard. That's not what we have to think about. Think about it as rapid, quick, fast, snappy. You want a snappy, quick speed to get over this object ball. If you hit it hard, that's not going to do much. Also, if your angle is not correct, you need snappy speed. What I mean by that is quickness. You need a quick hit. That is going to do the trick for you. If you're enjoying this video, please give it a thumbs up so YouTube can spread this out to more players just like you. Also consider subscribing to the channel so you won't miss any future uploads with tips and tricks. Let's move on to crucial tip number three, which is actually maybe the most important one. And that is the way you hold the jumpstick in your fingers and how you move your wrist, not your arm. That's right, the arm is not doing all the work on this shot, it's your wrist and your fingers. I use an extremely light grip like this with two fingers and my thumb and all the other work is coming from my wrist together with these three fingers. Highly crucial. If your wrist and your fingers are too stiff, you're not gonna get the speed. It's gonna be too slow you're not gonna develop that snappy hit that you need. You need to do this. You need to be snappy. It's gotta come from the wrist and the fingers, a snappy little hit. So you can practice that already without even balls on the table. Just hold the jump stick in your hand and just go like this super, super quick. And in the end, with that nice elevation, leaning on your left leg, so your opposite leg, seeing the fingers in front of you, focus on that super snappy hit, take a couple of pre-strokes and boom, there it is. I'm sure with these tips, you can get this down within 10 tries. Let me know in the comments how that is going for you. There you go, pool fans. This should really get you inspired to get to your pool table now, set up these shots, practice these techniques, go to work and win more ball games. Don't forget to check out all the other great content on the channel. There's tips and lessons here uploaded weekly. Remember, if you are finally ready to work on the most important part of your game, the mental part, head over to the Terminator College and join the many hundreds that are already studying right there. Pick the course that suits you and get some training.
see you in the next episode